Are you ready to create a debt payoff plan but don't know where to start? If so, this video is for you. Hi and welcome back. I'm Kamika and this is Wellbalance Wallet where I help you create healthy money habits and live a life that you love on your current budget. In today's video, we're going to talk about creating a debt payoff plan. Before I get started, I want to ask you a question. What would you do if you were completely debt free? For me, there are several things that I would do if I was completely debt free. I would travel with my husband and I would save money for our future. And then the last thing is I would give freely to organizations or individuals that just need help at the moment. So as you can see, I'm very passionate about personal finance and about paying off debt and helping other people do the same. My husband and I are currently on a debt free journey and our journey started back in 2015 when we got married. We started uh, going through Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace University and we got a good start with our debt snowball and then my husband ended up getting sick and we had to slow things down for a few years but once we were able to start back up we kicked it into overdrive and we are working on getting that debt paid down as quickly as possible. So one thing that I realized while we were going through uh, my husband being sick and not being able to work is that if we didn't have debt, we would have been able to pay the medical bills as they came. And then we would have also been able to stay on top of other things that we had to get behind in while we were going through that time in our lives. So I started doing debt snowball updates on this channel back in August of 2020, I believe. And I did that so that I could hold myself accountable and also be transparent so that you guys would know that real people actually do uh, go through debt free journeys and get debt paid off and eventually become debt free. So when I started sharing the debt snowball updates, I wanted to make sure that we had a solid debt payoff plan before I put everything out on the internet. And so now I want to show you how we created our plan and help you do the same. So a debt payoff plan is not all about paying off debt. It's about getting out of debt, but also being able to do what's important to you and live your life at the same time. So the main thing that we want our plan to do is to help us make good decisions with our money, to have balance and flexibility for when things come up because they always do, and then to not take on any new debt. So let's get started with step one. Step one is to add up all of your debt. This might be the hardest step because it's kind of hard to face the reality, especially if you have a large amount of debt. Before we started our journey, my husband and I had no idea the amount of debt that we had between student loans. We had a car loan at the time, we had medical bills, and the list goes on and on. It was so eye-opening to just be open and transparent and write down all the debt so that we'll know exactly what we had to tackle. So in this step, you want to figure out exactly how much you owe. So you can get this done by getting your credit report from one of the three credit bureaus and writing down all of your accounts and the amount of money that you owe for each debt. You want to keep this information in a spreadsheet or a notebook or um, an app on your phone, just somewhere where you can document exactly how much you owe for each debt and you can see an overall picture of your finances. Step two is to list all of your debts in order from smallest to largest. Now, this doesn't mean that you have to pay them off in this order, but it's easier to stay organized when you know um, that the smallest balance is at the top and the largest is at the bottom. You also want to include interest rates in this list so you can make an informed decision on how you want to tackle this debt. If you need a worksheet to help you stay on track, head over to Wellbalance Wallet and get our debt snowball tracker. And the very first worksheet has a place for you to list all of your debts from the smallest to largest and includes the place for your interest rates. Once you do this, move on to step three. Step three is to create a realistic budget. So for this step, we want to move away from the debts for a second and take a look at your current finances. You want to make a budget. So basically during your debt-free journey, you want to make sure that your regular bills are paid on time 
and that you're keeping track of subscriptions and things that are not paid monthly but maybe quarterly or sporadically throughout the year you don't want to get behind on anything while you're trying to get out of debt once you've created your budget then you'll be able to see how much money you have left over each month after all of your expenses are paid and then that's how much money you have to pay off your debt so if you've never created a budget before or you don't know how to start pause this video and head over to the video right here to learn how to create your first budget and meet us back for step four. So step four is to create your debt payoff plan. So this step may be where you spend the bulk of your time because you want to make sure that you make the right decision on how you want to pay off your debt and you want to make sure you include your priorities and your financial goals in this plan as well. So a few things to take into account while creating your plan. Do you want to pay off your debts from smallest to largest so that you can feel a sense of accomplishment um, very quickly? Or do you want to pay off your debt based on interest rates so that you can save money in the long run? That is completely up to you and it's different for everybody and it also depends on the type of debt that you have. My husband and I chose to pay off our debt from smallest to largest because we wanted to feel that sense of accomplishment, feel like we were making progress and actually be able to check things off of our list. But in some cases, it makes sense to pay down the debt with the highest interest rate if you have things like car loans and student loans as opposed to medical debt that doesn't charge interest. You also want to take into account any milestones that you want to hit. So in order to stay motivated, you want to give yourself a few milestones and maybe a few rewards so that you stay on track. So what we like to do is to create a goal at the beginning of the year on what we want to pay off. At the end of the year, if we've reached this goal or if we've gotten within a certain percentage of our goal and we feel accomplished, then we will reward ourselves with something that we don't usually get. So maybe a nice dinner or purchase something for our house or anything that we feel like is a reward, we'll treat ourselves once we reach our milestones. And the last thing that I want you to take into account is your accountability partner. Everybody should have an accountability partner, whether it's your spouse or your parents or your friends. Just make sure that you have someone in your corner to motivate you and celebrate with you along the way. And if for some reason you can't find an accountability partner, be sure to send me an email and I will celebrate all of your wins with you. And that's how you create a debt payoff plan. So now you have the four steps to create a debt payoff plan that gives you a full picture of your finances and your priorities. All you need to do is to commit to working your plan and reaching your financial goals. Once you get in the habit of being intentional with your money and working your plan, it'll come second nature to you. That's all for this video. Be sure to give it a like and click the link on your screen right now for more Well Balanced Wallet content. See you there.